Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight. Not tonight, today. <laughs> Along with... This is Mighty Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And wait, maybe there's something here. <laughs> All right, we don't want you to drown. <laughs> so give me a sec on that. And yeah, <laughs> wel welcome back. <clears throat> yeah. Welcome back to Dave the Diver, which we finished off previously, and I and I uploaded uh, two extra videos on YouTube uh, of me doing post story stuff, mostly just gathering more stuff and such. And <laughs> nothing too interesting on that. But since then, the game has had two big updates: one that adds more uh, added more content and story on its own, and also the crossover DLC with Dredge. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It kind of makes sense for these two games could probably be sort of similar. There we go. Since both are out on water. Yeah, well, one is mostly under, and the under is mostly over, but <laughs> dealing with fishing stuff out from under, but yeah. Yeah. And, and they released like three months apart, I believe. Nope. Hello, Sammy. What's up, Dave? You doing good? You seem energetic today. Yeah. Yeah, man. Can you come to the chicken farm real quick? I got something to show you. No. Okay. All right. We can get an upgrade there, I'm guessing. Well, let's head on right over. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't forget. We will stream Drench. Yeah, we will continue with that as well because that has its own upgrade, uh, its own DLC. For a bit longer, but still. Yeah, and that is the wrong farm. We probably start uh, that one after we finish Apotheon. Yeah, or the new content with this, so I think we'll probably finish with Apotheon sooner. Uh, yeah, uh, there. I was guessing we will to be done with that game quicker than the other. Yeah. Okay, the heck's up, Sammy. What's going on, Sammy? Yeah. I was browsing the internet to buy a new instrument, and I found some awesome stuff on sale for a limited time, so I bought at them just before the sale ended. Now you don't need to worry about coming to the chicken farm when you're busy. Awesome stuff. What exactly did you... Here it is. The first item is the egg storage box. This storage can keep up to 50 eggs. Now you don't have to collect eggs every day. You can just wait until it fills up and collect them all in one go. Okay, that, that is useful. Even though, also combined with the sprinkler that I got in one of the uh, extra videos I made, that makes it, that ensures that we don't have to come here each and every day. Yeah, I, I also realized, you never told me you did bonus videos on this only for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that I would record a few of those, but I will admit, uh, without banter added and to it, and not really any more story to find, it did get a bit boring rather quick, so that's why I quit after only two. That makes sense. And most of it, most of it was me just trying to find specific fish for the fish farm anyways. That's not all. Behold the chicken feeder. Yeah. How the hell did you end up with chicken stuff when you were looking for instruments? Like, how much overlap is there? <laughs> Farming instruments is a term, if I remember right. Could be, but he made it sound, look my, sound more like he was talking about a music instrument, but could be that as well. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, this machine mm -hmm. automatically feeds your chickens and increases the egg production rates. Yeah. If these machines will have the ultimate chicken farm. What do you think, Dave? <laughs> they're amazing. But I guess they're not free, right? Nope. I'm a bit short on cash since I'm preparing for a new album. But I bought them at a special discount. It was pretty much a steal. I don't think Sammy can say no as long as there's a discount. <laughs> I'll hold on to them for now. Just tell me when you need them. I can install them for free. <laughs> Hmm, they seem pretty useful. I should think about it. Alright. Yeah, new content. You can now purchase a machine that will help you run the chicken farm. If you purchase an egg storage box, you can store up to 50 eggs without harvesting them. 
can use a chicken feeder to automatically feed your chickens. You can increase the egg production rate depending on the type of feed. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we don't have enough for that one. But we can get the chicken feeder. Okay. Now... Uh, of course, they're going to swarm around it. Uh -huh. Okay, it seems I have to access it somewhere else. or it's, it's already stocked, so I'm guessing we can only refill it once it uses up some of its feed. Uh, it's assuming, assuming three green bars, so it might be it. Yeah, it's full already. I'm presuming we can stuff more into it once it starts to use some of it up. Let's yeah, see, so anything new at Bond shows? Maybe I've heard keep there's... an eye on those uh, green dots on it. Yeah. I had heard that there was now crab fishing as well. You said crab fishing, right? Yeah. You thought that I said the word with the <laughs> that's upside down with it? Yeah, yeah. my brain raised it, but I thought, no, that no way he said that. I was very doubtful on my, myself there. So I would not be surprised if we do replay the video we end up by realizing, oh, you did say it wrong. All right, the branch is still going. I haven't gotten the best of the staff, I believe. Let's go back to this here for a second. I think I did hire in one of the top chefs. Though I haven't swapped them out yet, I think. Uh, let me see. That Marinka. Let's see, yeah, just those. Let's see, is there a new... Okay, there's no new thing for aberrated fish yet. But it's probably because we haven't unlocked the, aber the DLC part yet. Let's see. I thought I'd feel too bad... <clears throat> I thought I'd feel too bad for the Thresher Shark to eat it, but it looks delicious. <laughs> Uh, I brought a zebra shark. I, I thought a zebra shark stripes would look like a zebra's, but nope. Yeah, it's actually spotted. Yeah. Sometimes I do get confused over who the heck named an animal. Like, okay, this shall be called a zebra shark, and it's covered in spots. <laughs> I think it is typically first come, first served, which is why there's some animals that are just uh, someone name and someone name, and Basically, as an example, if I were to discover a fish and I were to be egotistical enough to name it after myself, it'd be called the Hillian's uh, something something fish. And that's how yeah. a lot of fish got named. Okay. I no, think. Sometimes I could think it might be even for less egotistical reason, might be just for simple like. All, all the names are taken, so they have to. They just go, oh, fine, I'll just name it after myself then. Could be. Not this is a new contact. Who the heck is that? Hello, I hope you're having a good and great day. Please note that this call is being recorded for quality assurance. We're gonna help you with today. Claim reward, today's fortune, my information. Uh, uh, <laughs> you have captured 2,183 fishes in total. <laughs> You must have fed a lot of customers. Anything else you need? Uh, claim rewards? I've chosen to claim the rewards. Oh, okay, so that's how they do promotion codes. Okay, clever one there, game. This fortune, just uh, Happiness dwells in your mundane life. Dungeons is the key. Or so it says. Okay. Nice little addition. We haven't actually used this to really call anyone outside of quests, but maybe we'll pick that up at some point. What we forget in three, two, one. Anyways, let's just have a normal dive Ooh, and whoops. see when the new stuff gets unlocked. I'm presuming on the next day. So maybe we'll skip the next dive. Let's see. I don't really think... Uh, which button was it? Yeah, up. Let's see. Yellowfin tuna. I still need to capture one of those. Actually, let's sort by number of marine... Let me go to the bottom. Okay, marlins. 
both tunas, short fin Mako, small spotted dart, and yellow tin, uh, fin tuna are ones that I still need to capture a, a second one of, of, alive at least. So let's try and keep an eye out on these things then. And tuna are going to be real easy to spot, or at least we'll hear them when they come, when they spawn in, because they just make such a noise. As for the rest, let's just have ourselves a relaxing dive, because it has been a while, and well, we've spent 40 hours on this game already before, <laughs> so I think it'd be best to uh, help ease ourselves in a bit. So, yeah, it's it, the gameplay is simple enough, like, it's not like it's hyper complex or something. I think also recently the problem is it's easy to relax it to play, but also relax it to watch. Yeah. Yoink. May as well grab some fish. And th th this comes from someone who doesn't like fish and who doesn't like eating fish. <laughs> yeah, right. I've I've tried fishing a few times and typically I just end up getting bored out of anything else. Yeah, I can see that. But you can always do it in a more fun fishing way. Okay, that's Salima Porgy. You can uh, just throw yourself into the water, wrestle with the fish <laughs> into submission. I don't think that's going to work for most of them, or at least the smaller ones. And the big ones, well, they're more likely to kick your ass instead. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that sounded like something big spawning in. Also, this sneaky bastard. Come here, you. Okay. Actually, might as well bring one of these over. I think I already have a breeding pair of those, but might as well have extra. So yeah, let's just see what we find with <clears throat> with this dive, and we'll skip the next one. So we can hopefully get the new content unlocked on the next day. Yeah, no, it was good to get some extra cash prepared for those things. Yeah, plus we need cash for the new upgrades. I what? forgot these things are aggressive. Wait, wait, yeah, what are look... those again? Wait. Yeah, striped catfish. And we need to we need to call their numbers anyways, so may as well pick off a few. Oh no, my my brain just went haywire. Yep, this also works. I just imagine them all of them shorting you, make while well, making angry cat sounds. <laughs> you know, hissing, snarling, all that. Yeah, it would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> And terrifying at the same time? Yeah. Okay. Like and you're, you're taking a walk and suddenly look at a tree that just a herd of cats up in it. Yeah. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's an actual thing cats sometimes do. They just gather in one the same place. Like in a tree. It has a name, but I forgot the what. Okay. Don't matter if this is a maker. No, this is a white tip shark, a white tip okay. reef shark, if I recall correctly. Because well, I the white tips. Kind of looks this uh, comical. You shoot it, and he just bounces off this loot. Oh, you're probably a better harpoon if the harpoon just bounces off a shark's nose. Yeah, whitey brief shark. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh... Mm. Though I think it is upgraded as far as it'll go, I believe. White Frivali. I think we're too low now for the fish we were looking for. Uh, I'll leave that behind. So let's head back and up a bit and see if we can find any of our targets. 
If there, if there is one thing I would have liked to have added further to the game, it would be a sort of uh, fish radar. It, not that so, mu not so much that it'll tell you exactly where a fish is, but to give you a more, uh, maybe a bit of hot and cold uh, measuring on if you are close to where the fish is or so, or one, one of the fish is. Probably, probably have it so that you can only set it up for one fish per dive. For balancing. Yeah. You, you could probably do it so you can obviously have more, but it should have some limited system, like maybe max three different types of fish. You should be able yeah. to scan for. See, those are not, those are more porgies. Yep. Wait, what? Yeah, the fish that I caught in. The heck is that? Is that another... Yep, it's another of those. And I wasn't looking where I was going. Okay, nothing new to get here then. Uh, oh. Okay, you just have murder on your fishy mind, don't you, huh? Okay, let's just get out. I'll find oxygen somewhere else. There should be more than plenty in the in the shallows here. Okay. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Holy! They startled you, didn't they? Yep. There we go. Okay. Send one up, and with some luck, that means I'll now have a tuna breeding pair. And let's... I'm... I'm trying to remember now if there was any more of those festivals since last time, but I don't think there was. Hmm. <laughs> these... These stingrays are absolutely murderous, and... Oh, really? Hmm. I don't want to take on that shark up there. Also, not much of a need to, since we can't bring yeah we can't bring it up in full. We could get the meat out of it, but we've seen how that 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 is a mako, I believe, and we've seen how hard those can hit. Actually, since there is one of these here. And well, this. Let's heal up and see if we can take it on. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, that's not the major shark. No, oh, that's the. Hmm. Treasure. Hmm. Uh, treasure. Yeah. Okay. Not one of our targets, but still, it'll make for a good. It'll make for some good food. Come on. Also, the Game stingray is just stuck <laughs> over there. I just, I will repeat people again. In real life, sharks don't make good food. Yeah, a lot of uh, heavy metals in them, I believe. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's the specific metal that's very bad for pregnancy. Yeah. And uh, the bigger the shark, the more it is. So, like, they usually warn on commercial what fish to not eat. Well, the reason they don't say shark is because, well, most people don't eat shark and don't serve shark to begin with. Yeah. But if you were to go to a place that serves shark, and you know someone that's pregnant or plan to get pregnant, yeah, help them to avoid sharks. Okay, how uh, are we on weight? Uh, well, we still have more than plenty. But I kind of want to try and get to the new content as quickly as possible, so let's just exit at the next escape point. Well, I'll still grab somewhat along the way. There. Hmm. Ammo and up. Oh, there we go. Let's just grab this and off we go. Hmm. I, I thought it'd be a bit more rusty with the controls, but no. 
Was it that long ago we played it, uh, Ultra World? A few months. Since yeah. Still within the same damn year we started this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and we did get something. St oh, oh, and crops are grown. And something on the phone. All oh, right, Eco Watcher. Let's see. Yeah. Turn that in. And let's see, what do we get for... Hey, the, the waterproof bag. We still have no bloody idea what that is about. But if we do these two... Let's see, shade pedestal in the glacial area, glacial area. Yeah. Okay, it, maybe we go over to the glacial area on the second part. But let's first check the farm and sites. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, the wheat has grown. Hmm. And yeah, getting the sprinkler really just... It is it is calming to water the plants and such, but it can also get rather annoying with having to do it so often. Now, do yeah. I have any... Yes, I do. Let's see. Nothing on how many of these we have in store it, it, of the actual uh, vegetable that we have in storage though that might also be a nice little extra okay and the rice is also done it, yeah <laughs> more than plenty of rice for the moment okay now Otto might you have some upgrades left Also, I forget if I already checked if for the eggs today or not. You know, then again... All oh, right, the, the, the eggs appear when we just... Get, we get the eggs when we arrive here, I believe. Um, yeah, and it's not a new day yet. Okay, speaking of new day, he'll plan... He'll plant new rice for us. And... Yeah, back to the boat. I think the brand should still be plenty stocked. Yeah, more more <laughs> crops, <laughs> crops that have grown. Okay, let's go grab that and we'll call it a dive and hopefully get to the new content. <clears throat> yes, yes, we heard you the first time. How the heck did you get our phone number? Oh, finally new, yeah, finally new bounties, huh? Let's see, some poor beagle sharks are blocking the way to the glacial area. Can you get rid of them? Yes. Poor be and poor get beagle sharks are almost like an insult. The poor beagle, that if you add an extra O to it, it's it, it's poor beagle. Yeah, that's what I say. I say it say it sounds almost like an insult. Almost. There we go. Is, is this me? <laughs> yeah, they, they put up a statue of Dave in the epilogue. <laughs> Seeing a statue of me in the Sea People village kind of feel, feels kind of nice, to be honest. <laughs> okay, at least I didn't try to exaggerate him. Though I uh, think future is, uh, generations won't take him that seriously. Oh dear. Mm. Dua, your cough seems to have gotten worse. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a cough. I'm feeling much better than I was before. Yeah, you don't sound it. He's coughing too much. I should ask Mima if there's any foods that are good for coughs. Maybe they can tell me as well about that then. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, yeah, I say, <laughs> but yeah, is it? But does he like, like in this case, the, these people made a statue in his honor on their own free will, which I kind of like. However, when someone orders a tiny village to make a statue for them, for some egotistical reason, yeah, then. Then uh, as that's a statue like, like less. Yeah. And 
Hello there, Pizza. Hello. How are you doing today? And looks like they streamlined this a bit by giving us access to the seed shop straight at the farm. That's nice. also and nice. Very nice. And hello, pizza lover! Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see, I'm not doing great at all, to be honest. Oh, and yes, hydrate. Okay, what's up then, pizza? Uh, I'm still seeing myself, but yeah, tell us, uh, what's on your mind? Uh. Yeah, we're back to Dave the Diver for an extra stream, probably a few extra streams because of, of new content and the crossover DLC with Dredge, but we'll have to get yeah. access to the new content first, so we'll have to finish a day first, I presume. I hope so, but I usually get annoyed if whenever you can do DLC and stuff, you have to restart the entire game just to access the DLC parts. Yeah. Let's see. Food that's good for coughs. Yeah, Dua's coughing has worsened again. Uh, I'm told him it was too early to start working. Back when I used to study, study cooking, I learned that horsehair crabs are good for coughs. Horsehair crabs? That's right, horsehair crabs. <laughs> the problem is that they dwell in the glacial area and live in crevices between rocks. And any record of how to catch them disappeared as the path to the glacial area got blocked off. Hmm, I have to catch a horsehair crab. Otto used to be a diver. Maybe he knows. Okay, so this is how we get access to the, the, the crab fishing. Uh, oh, pizza. Well, uh, my boyfriend just broke up with me, so I haven't been doing great mentally much. Okay, Aww. yeah, that, that's... Uh, yeah, that's terrible to hear, that pizza. Yeah, sad to hear. Okay. Uh, at, at least you can uh, at least you can spend some time here to get distracted if need be. Okay, not much on that. Okay. Oh, new applicants. Let's see. I forgot where I left the notes that actually <laughs> that actually kept track of the best staff members. So, they might just need to sit there for a bit. Hmm. Hello. Uh, I think you're in the wrong area, sir. Django. <laughs> hmm? Something wrong. Cold. It's too cold. Uh, the place averages at 27 degrees Celsius even during the evening. My whole body is aching. I'll freeze to death. You. Is there anywhere I can plant some seeds? Seeds? Yes, when I was climbing a snowy mountain of some faraway country, a local cooked me a meal with some peppers. It warmed me up, but I could conserve my heart. I mean, my health. I was, uh, <clears throat> I was able to reach the top thanks to that dish. The local gave me some pepper seeds. Here. Hmm. I'm still not sure. What am I supposed to make with this? One of my friends used to love this song that was inspired by hot pepper tuna. <laughs> so we're going to make hot pepper tuna, aren't we? Ah, he's talking about Sammy's song. He said just listening to the song warms him up. Can you cook me some hot pepper tuna, please? I don't know what the ingredients are, but I'm sure that this will warm me up. Hmm. Let's see if I can plant these seeds first. Yeah, we'll need some space for that first. <laughs> Make it quick, please. I'm freezing here. <laughs> what? Okay. I do think there are some conditions where people are unable to feel heat or, or just temperature in general. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Uh, yes, mostly why I came here, though. I do have to go in about 18 minutes from my class, so I'll be lurking when I do go. Okay, no worries, Pizza, and hope things will go well with, well, recovering and with uh, class. Yeah, I hope for the best for you. Hmm. Cuisine made with pepper. First, I should take this pepper seed to Otto. And since Sammy wrote the song Hot Pepper Tuna, he might know something about it. Then talk to those two first. Then he's probably still already plotting with what to cook with those. Let's see. There's plenty of dishes we can still research. Let's see. 
I'll, actually, I'll preserve the flame for a bit. Just so if we need to research the pepper tuna, it, we, it will be ready at the right desk. Uh, let's see, those are our applicants. In the waiting room, we have Ko, Itsuku, Dre, Yusuke, and Pai, Pai and Charlie. Let's see. Uh, let's see, pizza, thank you. You'll have ended by the time I come back, so if you are doing a double stream today, uh, since I uh, think you said that previously, I'll be there. Uh, yeah, we plan to do a double stream. We're, during this week, we plan to do uh, more streams uh, before Christmas and such. So yeah, we will be doing another stream in the evening. Maybe you know, maybe just one tomorrow with Valheim. Maybe just extend it after dinner. And yeah, two on Thursday as well. The Friday yeah. will remain our free day. Yeah, so if we're unable to play Valheim, we could play more David Diver and uh, more Sonic. Yeah. Uh, let's eight. see, menu. Okay, something I've actually found out after uh, is if we run out of things on the menu, we can actually stock up on it. We can actually add on to it. Now, let's see. How did okay. things go last time? I think we got to about 40. Uh, let's see, sales, 36 on that. Yeah, I, I think we get about 40 customers each night now. So let's repair 40 dishes. Holy. Let's see, we can enhance that yeah, quite a bit. So here we go with, we, with, with these. I, I so need to go buy sushi again one of these days, and just the good sushi at that. <laughs> also remember, we did say we will do next week as well, maybe. Is maybe, a maybe. Yeah. However, if we do next week as well, yeah, that, it, it will just be a two-week double streams. Of the new year, we go back to the regular schedule. <laughs> I can't, I can't say that word for love of all. Thank you. We will go to regular ske <laughs> Reg Regular yes. amount of streams. Yes, regular amount of streams. <laughs> okay, that should it's, be it's enough. It's easy to write. There's some words that are easy to write, but hard to say. The only hard to that that are easy to say, but hard to write. <laughs> like, language mm -hmm. is it to say, but when I, time I try to write that, I usually mm -hmm. misspell it. <laughs> okay. We should just be able to sit back and let them take care of everything. Bone Show is quick enough with making everything. All we really need to do is keep up the wasabi. Wait, this, this looks new. <laughs> hmm? Text over the heads here now. Uh, they, I, I'm pretty sure they've been chattering. They, they had those on the sides with the hearts and all they had. But here, by the t tables? No. Maybe. I, I've not been keeping track of much on that. So that might be. That might actually be new, yeah? Hmm. Oop. Almost out of wasabi. And yeah, if we run out, we can just stock up again here, which is <laughs> something I probably should have learned a lot earlier, but it still works now. Yeah. Let's see a regular steam table. Yeah, that probably would be a better alternative thing to say. <laughs> Okay. And there we go. 24 good... Uh, 24 happy customers at the branch and only one angry one. There you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our best day yet on, no on a non-festival one? Okay. Holy... Well, we, we can afford that uh, chicken and that egg box now. Uh, oh, I bet you have the same as us. 
<laughs> Only one angry customer. <laughs> now we had, uh, we had, uh, we. I was checking them in the lower right corner. We had, we had zero and angry customers. Huh. And, oh. Hey, what's up, Dave? Hmm? You sound a little down, Sammy. Ah. I want to discuss something with you. Can you come to the chicken farm? Mm -hmm. Alright, be that soon. Oh, a penny for Sammy's thoughts, really? Okay. Hey. Huh? Some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Should I check it? Yep, no choice. A shrimp party? Okay. Greetings, it's your Blue Hole tour in the comedy again. We all know Blue Hole is home to big, fat, juice and juicy shrimp. The excellent taste of the shrimps must be known to the whole world. This time we're hosting a shrimp party. If you're in a restaurant with fine shrimp recipes, don't miss out on this opportunity. Okay, I, we should have plenty of shrimp. And personally, I don't see any... I, I don't see any of the appeal in eating shrimp, or basically most shellfish at that. I ate some shrimps and I found it good, just... My biggest problem with shrimp is more of... I buy a jar and I put a lot of them on the paper to get rid of all the preserving oil they have in. And I also ended up... After trying a few times, I felt like, nope, I... It tastes good, just it's way too much work just to have something... On a sandwich or something. Yeah, that, that's another part of it. I, I don't see. <clears throat> uh, with shrimp, you get like what a fourth of the size of meat, actually. Plus, this also just how it look. It's to me, it looks oddly unappealing, or that's just the shrimp on its own. The the meat itself just looks differently, of course. But yeah, it just doesn't look appealing at all to me. Maybe I'll try it someday, but I have. Well, better options that's <laughs> available, like chicken and such. Maybe, as Kisselov says there, maybe try fried shrimp? Maybe. Hmm. Like, mo most encounters I've had with shrimp are like in the, the shrimp cocktails and such, not the actual meat, you know, to my knowledge. So maybe I'll give it a shot sometime, maybe on sushi. <clears throat> I've actually tried shrimp pizza again. I kind of how I actually ended up realizing that, huh, shrimp is not that bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's also a bit of uh, judging a book by its cover and such. I'll fully admit to that. <clears throat> shrimp cocktail? That sounds awful. It's not, it's not like a cocktail uh, drink or such. It's more like... Uh, uh, how, let me do a quick look on that. I, yeah. It's more like <laughs> tiny shrimp with uh, some other foods it's, that's served in a glass to be scooped out with a, a fork or such. Yeah, the name is a bit misleading, I yeah. think. Often served... I think this... I think part of the name just comes from the fact that it's served with cocktail sauce. Let's Actually, see. Actually, yeah, I think that's, a, that's the thing. Stream cocktail dish. Uh, ta -ta -ta, cocktail, also known as shrimp cocktail, seafood dish consisting of shelled, cooked prawns, in a merry rose sauce or cocktail sauce, served, and then I need to click into ta -ta, served in a glass. Ta -ta, it was the most popular hors d'oeuvre in Great Britain as well as the United States from the 1960s to the late 1980s. Okay. And yeah, I I'm guessing that added to me just not liking it because you need to peel the fucking things yourself. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of sound, uh, yes, annoying. Yeah. What is it, Sammy? Oh. Well, I'm preparing my new album. I haven't done any live shows. Oh. So I'm a bit short on cash. Yeah. Oh, I see. Shut out. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what happens when you go on a spending spree on discounts. <laughs> I'd like to help you run your farm as a part-timer. What do you think? A part-time job? Yeah, I'll help you harvest crops, sow sheets and weed, and fertilize your fields. Mm. Mm, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I used to help my dad run his farm when I was a kid. I mean, that was a while ago, but I can still handle a part-time job. Right, so how do we do this? Talk to me whenever you need an extra hand. You can even decide how many days you want me to work at your farm. 
All right, we can help each other out. Okay, another way to make things easier with the farm. Let's see. From now on, you can hire Sammy to work on your farm. Sammy can harvest crops, so oh, so seeds and the uh, fertilizing wheat fields. Let Sammy take care of your seeds and fertilizers. He'll make farming much easier. You can now you can select how to use fertilizer and the type of seed to plant. Okay, not very. <laughs> that's very nice to give this option for people who don't like this as much. Uh, Let's see. Uh, yeah, you need to peel some uh, shellfish things yourselves, but the ones I eat they usually comes uh, unshelled already. Yeah. Like, you need to get rid of the shell to get to the fish. <laughs> yeah, and the truth I've been eating are the really small ones. Yeah, the ones smaller. The, the, the typical wood I see in the. Uh, Trim cocktails, though it can vary, is the type more for uh, <clears throat> more uh, more the yeah, more the size smaller than your teeth. So I guess those could be cooked. There could go unpeeled. Yeah, for but those are usually peeled and put in a jar with a special. I don't know if it's vinegar, oil, or what, but something that helps to preserve it. Probably it's just to get rid of the damn thing to enjoy eating them. <laughs> okay, let's see. Pizza, shrimp is the only seafood I've ever tried. Well, we have to go now. It's been fun chatting. Okay, see you next time, pizza, and good luck. Yeah, good luck, and see you later. <laughs> let's see. Eh, you want to catch a horsehair crab? Or... That's right. Apparently they live in crevices and it's hard to catch them with harpoons or nets. <laughs> of course you can, you need a crab trap. A crab trap? <laughs> sounds like a variant... <laughs> it sounds like a variant of clap trap in Borderlands. <laughs> a crabby cra clap trap, crab trap. <laughs> oh, gods. <laughs> yes, three. You put some bait inside the crab trap, place it in between some rocks, and uh, crabs or lobsters will rock right in. <laughs> Wow, then I could catch a horse have crap with it. Do you have any? Uh, I'm retired. Of course, I don't have one. But I can make one for you, if you have the materials. <laughs> Alright, what kind of materials do you need? Uh, some lumber, scrap iron, rope. Yeah, well, you'll, need a good, you'll need a tiger shark tooth for a good grip. Okay, okay I'll try to get everything for you. Why a, why a tooth? <laughs> Good, I get out everything I, I need to make a crab trap. I should go back to Otto. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. I don't think you want to hold a tiger shark tooth. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if he explains why the hell we need a tooth for that. And yeah, you don't want to touch those because they tend to be either sharp or serrated. <laughs> yeah. Good, you brought all the materials from, for the crab trap. All right, time to work my magic. Let's see if I can, if I still got it. Nope. It's just new. <laughs> Get his knee to function again. Whoa! So this is a crab trap. Yes, yeah, sorry. Put it in a crab list where there's a lot of bubbles and wait around for a bit. <laughs> when it catches a crab, the crab trap will start shaking. You know right away. <laughs> Got it. With this, I can catch horsehair crabs. <laughs> different things live in different areas, so try to put it to good use. Okay, that, so now we... Go in. Is that if the sign of a crab trap? <laughs> Uh, so let's not forget to ask Sammy. That has never scolded me. He told me to do whatever I want. The only problem is that he goes on and on. Okay. Uh, oh wait, we need to talk. Wait. I, I thought we needed to talk to Sammy about the recipe for the, hot, the pepper tuna. But apparently we need to talk to Otto. Mm. Otto, a customer gave me some pepper seeds. Can we plant it? <laughs> this is. This is no ordinary pepper. You brought me habanero pepper seeds. Habanero? Yes, sirree. The fifth spiciest pepper in the world. Can't even harvest it without wearing gloves. Still, it, it won't be difficult to grow here. Oh, 
then I should give it a try. We got a customer wrapped in clo uh, thick clothes, saying he feels cold even, uh, even in this weather. Alright, Sammy, do you know the recipe for hot pepper tuna? The customer mentioned your song and wanted to try the dish. Yeah. I have a fan, I <laughs> flattered. Yeah. Hot pepper tuna. The song was inspired by a dish my mom would sometimes cook for me. My mom's pepper dish, especially her pepper tuna. It was the best. <laughs> I can still remember Sammy drenched in sweat, gobbling up every last bit. Okay, now I actually want to try hot pepper tuna because I do like spicy food and such. <laughs> Make spicy f sushi? That would just be double. Uh oh. <laughs> he would spend the entire next day in the toilet, <laughs> then he would eat it again. Oh. Come on, Dad, you're embarrassing me. Anyhow. Sure. A recipe. I don't know the exact recipe, but I know what ingredients it needs. And we know that that is all that Boncho needs. <laughs> it should be enough for Boncho to come up with something. Tell me. Hmm. hmm. I have an arrow. I should give me a hands on more of those seeds. <laughs> okay. Shiny pepper seeds. Okay. And we automatically get some seeds. So, let's plant some. I kind of messed up by planting extra tomato seeds, but oh well. <clears throat> okay. I'm so concerned. Nope. We need to put down fertilizers because the current ones have worked their way. Uh, have <clears throat> are done. Uh, let's see. Pest fertilizer, nutrient compost. The, uh, now the question is: Is this the new? Unquote real C up, uh, update or the actual DLC update? Yeah, this is from the this is from the patch that added a lot of extra stuff. All right. Okay. Let's see if Bancho has anything to say about this. I it. Uh, I know things are busy during the day, but if the ingredients aren't ready, we'll only be able to sell an overmarking. Be sure to get things ready. Yeah, we have more than a plenty of, <laughs> of fish in stock, so I don't think that'll be a problem. Uh, also, yeah, Cookstra. Let's see. Okay, we can't uh, we can't upgrade the diamond just yet. We need something. <clears throat> we need something extremely tasty still. And let's see how's the branch doing. I think I heard a horseshoe crab. Wait, no, there's horseshoe crab. Horse hair crab. I, I don't think I've ever heard of a horse hair crab. Okay. Uh, let's see. Menu, sea, huge, sea horse skewers, blue tang sushi. Okay. This the music in this game is... I, I might just buy the deluxe upgrade just to get my hands on the on the OST officially. Oh dear. Because these developers deserve every cent of support. Okay. Long thing you report. Okay. Okay, and apparently we can still oh. Let's upgrade this. There we go. And cargo box. It can still be upgraded. I don't think we upgraded that one to the fullest uh, last time. The shake may have stopped, but it was still reeling in a variety from the blue hole. Let's get back to business without a care in the world. Let's see. Ammo box, ink bomb. Let's just get one of these just to be extra certain. <clears throat> yeah, don't forget the farm reward. I... Th I think we already got everything from the report. It's just that it, it's updating on everything else now. Yeah. All right. I, oh. like we, we've got 14 onions growing. Okay, we'll definitely not be short on that. Okay. Yeah. Let's head to the glacial area and see if we can find ourselves some crabs. Real curious as to when the... <clears throat> when the dredge content will start, though. But... Of course, it's not going to throw everything at us at once. It's never done that before. Pacing yeah. itself out and all of that. I have no interest in that. Now, how are we going to recognize the, the crab spots? 
places with a lot of bubbles around it, I think it was. A crevice? So let me do a check. A glacier zone. Sort my number of marine life. Let's see. Alaska Pollock, Starry Skate, Telescope Fish, and Greenland Shark, and Narwhal. Okay. I, I've, oh, hello. Okay, so... Okay, that explains. We saw, we've seen some of these rocks before in the shallow, so that's going to be where we find the crab spots. I see bubbles coming right. from the crevice. I should place the crab trap out of made for me. Let's see. You can now use crab traps, put some bait in the trap and place it in certain rocky crevices. Upon catching a crab, the crab trap will start shaking. Remember, unretrieved crab traps re <coughs> disappear when you leave the water. Make sure you retrieve them. Hmm. Okay, that, that is going to retreat into that, or not? Are you actually trying to attack me? <laughs> Are you actually coming at me? Yes. <laughs> Hold on, his knees. Okay, tough little fish, you do not get caught in one shot. Come here, you. Is this one of the ones I'm short on? Yeah, I'm ignoring the crab for a moment to try and catch these because if this is the one of the fish I'm looking for, it'll well save me a bit of trouble because these seem to be spawning a bit randomly. Uh, no, it's a polar eel pouch. So, okay, useless to me then. Okay. No, no. Okay, we actually do need to put bait into it. I thought maybe we'd need to put it, in, it get put in with it. Okay. Once deployed, yeah. Good, it's ready. I should come back later. It'll take some time until something takes the bait. Ow. Okay, good thing that we did catch that fish then, huh? Yeah. Some chilled mayo. Or frozen? Okay. Hmm. I honestly don't. I honestly don't know if it's better to keep um, condiments like mayo and such in the fridge or outside of it. Like in, uh, in stores and such, it's typically it's, yeah, in stores and such is typically saved outside. Yeah, I think it's uh, more recommended that like, once you open it, you want to keep it in the fridge. Let's see, lightning rifle, no interest in freaking squids. So, yeah, like, as long as it's unopened, you can have it out. But once you open it, you want to put it in the fridge. Okay. No, <laughs> still got too close somehow. Okay, let's harvest that. And, oh, okay, it gives a marker when the crab uh, when a crab is caught. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's just an ice fish, I believe. That's what they're called. Okay. Yeah. Also, whilst we're here, then. Knock knock. Inches. One horse hair crab. All right, I caught a horse hair crab. How'd you take it to me, man? And we've got a golden king crab. <laughs> Let's see, can we put down on this again, or... Yeah, we need to find a Push new spot. <laughs> yeah, long live the king. <laughs> oh, dear gods. <laughs> Let's see... Yeah, let's let's look around for one more spot. And then we'll just catch something in the meantime whilst we wait for that to finish. Uh, okay, as is Larry says, would be to throw a baseball bat at a shark. I'll think no on that. Okay, do your charge. Okay. 
Ow. Miss. Okay. There we go. Ah, there it is. It's bleeding now. There we go. I might as well send you up. I'm not really planning on catching too many more things, so I might as well use the drone uses that we have. Let me guess, those are more of the eel pouts. Uh, me so. What? Uh, let's actually put the, the dead crab into lure in another one. Uh, damn it. Probably not the best idea since what it would have been a new ingredient, but oh well. Yeah, I think crabs hunt other species of crabs. Let's see, just need a few more of those. Okay, you are actively coming for me. Yep. Was there a sign that it's already filled? Yep. No, you don't. Okay, no, it's it just the game just keeps track of the box off screen, even when it, yeah, whether it's filled or not. Oh, uh, hello. Is this new? Hmm? I heard a voice. It's coming from inside the cave. How do you break? Yeah, how do I break through this thick ice? I have to pierce it uh, through the middle with something pointy, otherwise it won't even crack. Wait, something pointy. Maybe the narwhal's horn? Should I lure trying to, uh, should I try luring the narwhal into the wall? Okay. Um Well I do need to catch another narwhal for well and you still need to get lucky with catching a new uh, another narwhal for the <laughs> the fish farm. So maybe we can catch two fish in one stone? <laughs> Or the two fish with one net. Oh, hello there. You know that Norval is not a fish, right? <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> okay, we don't have to do this our own. All right, this should be enough. Now I gotta do my best to avoid it. it goes so oh, well you that was close I broke through the ice wall not to find the source of that sound yeah, we got our fish so may as well go take a look and seeing as how dredge had its DLC involved the cold maybe this leads to that maybe only one but way to find out whoa the current is stronger than I thought I see some obstacles too. I have to focus and get out of here. Yeah, okay. Dead entrance is a one way ticket. Beep. Okay. Dodging icicles. Ow! Okay, come on. We need those. Yep. Yoink. Needs just one more. Now, that's not supposed to happen. Is that flash freezing? Look like it. What have we? Oh, hello. Huh? Chuchi? Oh, you're that human from before. What brings you here? I heard a sound coming from inside. Are you trapped? Yes, I came in here to find some new seaweed for, with Donna and got trapped here together. We've been living off of seaweed up until now, but we're just about reaching our limits. They came to help us. Thank you. Uh, no, I think I'm trapped here too. You useless! 
<laughs> we might be able to get out if he managed to break through his ice wall, but it's too thick. Dono would have been able to ram through it, but Dono is in no shape to do so. Yeah. Hmm? That's... Maybe we could hook up... Maybe we can hook up... Uh, hook a rope on that end and catapult Donna into the wall to break it? Hmm? Sure, Donna's shell is rich enough to break the wall, but how do we throw Donna? Well, if we tie your clothes together... What? My clothes? That's the only way. Come on now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure rope isn't that elastic, especially on the water. <laughs> This will do. Cold. It's too cold. Just hold on for a little longer. We can't escape if we do nothing. Send Donna here. I'll launch Donna into the wall. Are we going to be playing Angry Turtle now? This shouldn't work. It shouldn't, but uh, this world has shown itself to be insane enough for stuff also, like this. She's huge! We even get new music for this? Hey, we are definitely playing Angry Turtle. Yep. But I'm pretty sure turtles don't get... Yeah, the turtles that got this big it's so extinct, I think. <laughs> and yes, it's Angry Turtle. Oh no. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure it, we're going to be left with an Angry Turtle at the end of this. A bonk. <laughs> if you miss, yes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just freaking out over there. No, no, he's actually cheering on now. <laughs> Here we go. Two more points. I do like it when uh, more traditional instruments are used uh, in music like this. And yeah, that wasn't... <laughs> it was nowhere near close enough. Okay. There we go. I think we need about two or three more hits to get through. I hope th if this is relating to the uh, Dredge DLC, that we don't get any spoilers for Dredge's own DLC. I doubt it would. Probably, but still, there's always a chance. Oh, or bait or bait. Better said, that it's there's always a non-zero percent, uh, a non-zero chance. Okay, gotta aim real high. Luckily, our oxygen isn't actually going down, so that's the game having mercy on us at least. It bonks the <laughs> exact same spot, I think. Yeah, you, you need to aim a bit higher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Too high. Oh, low of all hell. <laughs> it's not like I'm getting an exact line of uh, where the turtle is gonna go. Nope. Okay, Donna must be getting pretty pissed with us now. Yeah, don't, don't end up becoming part of her menu. Ah, too low. Yeah. I don't want to complain about new things too much, but it would be good if we had a more zoomed out view here. Let's get it within this shot. Yeah, bro, come on. Almost. Almost. 
Yeah, yeah, the the extra captain. bar is adding a bit of uh, randomness to when it, how far they'll actually go. Yeah. Are you screwed by something? There we go. There we go. <laughs> and what did you realize then? What bloody day is Pirate Day, your Pirate Week? <laughs> Don't actually know. <laughs> Typically, you only hear about it on the day itself. <laughs> Let's see. It was a success. Good job, Donna. Let's shoot. We can head out through that door. Okay, you get dressed again quick. Before we have to drag you along as an ice cube. Phew, a few minutes better now. Now, we'll go with you. Talk to me when you're ready. Okay, but first, we have some stuff here to harvest. Let's see. A ladder rack? A blad yeah, the seaweed that with round air bladders around his leaves, rich in nutrients and also used for medicinal purposes. Okay. Weeds like that just bladder work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a guess that uh, the per people who originally found it uh, had a bit of a bad day afterwards. But I think it is. I would not be surprised. I probably would be less surprised if you we were playing a alchemist game or a wizard game or something like that. Or in a game in a fantasy world. Are you ready to it head out? Like a, it, it sounds like a magic reagent. Yeah. I'm ready? It, uh, uh -oh. Looks like we don't have a choice in going. Uh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> we go to Marilyn Monroe to stop. <laughs> you you would think the persons who's been living on the water their entire life would be more better at swimming on the water, but apparently not. <laughs> Phew, you got us out of there safely. Thank you, human. Take this. What are you doing? Hmm? What's this? Uh, an ice pick. An ice pick. You can break thin ice with it. With this, you should be able to reach small areas blocked off by ice. Oh, I see. I'm not sure it will come in handy. Thanks, Sushi. Or, I'm sure it will come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, human. And don't lose your clothes this time. <laughs> okay. Oh, no dredge content yet, but I am fully expecting that to come up in one of the upcoming nights. Since, well, that would be the most fitting time for the horror stuff to start. <laughs> yeah, no, wait. You, you didn't investigate? Not too much, to avoid spoilers. Yeah, sometimes I would recommend to do some investigation to know how to activate said events. Yeah, typically it is only tied to story progression past a certain point. So I'm presuming it'll be similar here. It's just that it also has all of the stuff from the free updates to uh, add in still. Yeah, and probably doubt we will be able to finish this DLC in the this week or next one. Or maybe next one, if we do the whole uh, two-week thing. Could be, yeah. I honestly don't want it to be over too quickly either. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just see how things go. Indeed. Now we return to Mima with the horse, horse hair crap, not horseshoe crap, horse hair. Horse hair? Where? I'm honest. Okay. Hmm? Whoa, a horse hair crab. How did you get one? Use the crab trap. You can lure them into the trap with bait. Yeah, I think I've read about it. Anyway, this is great. Horseshoe crab is most delicious and nourishing when steamed. I have a steamer. I can cook it for you in no time. Here, allow me. Ooh, new animation as well. 
How would you steam underwater? Yep, of course. <laughs> Those things. You might want to be a bit careful when taking that thing off. Whoa, you steamed this crap to perfection. It almost makes me want to eat it. <laughs> Make sure you don't. Here, come to the door so I can give it to you. Yeah, don't try eating it through your dieting mask, my <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Here, I packed it up for you. Please give it to Dua. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll try crap as well at some point, and not just the cheap stuff you can get at the stores and such. But it's I have it similar with that as with shrimp. Like I don't really like the prospect of needing to, uh, yeah, get through all of the hard stuff to get to the actual good parts. Ah, just point through the shell. No, do bite through the shell, people. I'm joking here. Don't eat the shell. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe the shell could be reused for something else, like grinding down into a powder for something. Or but for food, I don't think it'd be... Perhaps. Do mm. mm. you're still not feeling well? Don't sweat it. I'm a lot better than before. Got a long-standing illness. Just flared up recently. Let's see. If you ever need help, just let me know, okay? Yeah, aren't we here to deliver these? Uh. Oh wait. Did I need to pick it up? <laughs> Something over there. Did you? I saw something on the ground. You forgot to pick it up. I thought she just handed it over already. <laughs> oh well, let's Honestly, go grab it I'll, then. I will probably don't make the same mistake, but it's one of those things you expect that before that's what usually happens. Okay, there it is. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> it's easy missed. For some reason, yeah, you see that blue marking? It's somewhat almost camouflaged over there. A bit, perhaps, but yeah. <laughs> I guess uh, this is to make sure that we don't accidentally leave with it in our inventory. And it doesn't slow us down too much, anyways. Yeah. Okay, one delivery of steamed, uh, of steamed crab. But we should be inside, right? I just give him some steamed horse hair crap for his coughs. Hey, to, my to my knowledge, steaming is a really good way of cooking stuff because it is near impossible to actually over steam something, I believe. So that nasty cough still hasn't gone away? Here, why don't you try this? Hmm? Steamed horse hair crap? Where did you. I caught one in the glacial area and gave it to Mima. She cooked a delicious meal out of it. They say it's good for coughing. Try it. It looks warm and delicious. Let me try. What the? Okay, he just went Super Saiyan Crab. <laughs> Whoa, I feel stronger. I feel like I'm bursting with energy. It's been a long time since I've felt this way. I've never seen you energetic, so energetic before. Thank goodness. <laughs> I doubt I'm completely cured, but still, it's giving me a good boost. Thanks, Dave. I can't give you much right now, but here, take it. I wasn't hoping for a reward, but thanks. I put it to good use. For the sake of everyone who's worried about me, I'll do my best to get my health back. Drop by the work time shop anytime. <laughs> and we get some divine tree fruits fragments. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, I he probably has a more uh, 
in a not terminal but permanent condition but that should at least help alleviate the symptoms for a bit Ooh, harvest let's see grapes okay let's just plant all of these and there okay hmm and the only real quest we have at the moment then is to hoard for poor beagle sharks but I think we can call it there on this dive. <clears throat> oh, again, something new at the board. Seems that it seems that this updates a lot, a, a lot more frequently nowadays. There we go. And I never yeah, had that material. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's real or not, but we started this stream with like one one hundred and forty bay. And now we have 800 from all of these quests we've done already. <laughs> Let's see, nothing here. Okay. And, oh, come on! What? Look at the time. Yeah, 120. I'm not. It, it, it feels like we only spent half an hour uh, so far. <laughs> Yeah, this game does feel like this game does make time uh, seem to fly, which is a good thing. Um, uh, yeah, might as well. S Let's see, horse hair crab. Okay, you could have gotten golden crab meat as well, but oh well. Yep, grown crops. Let's see, how much does it actually? New products stocked as well. Um, let's see how much it also costs to hire Sammy for a few days. Oop, tomatoes, tomatoes, whatever they go into ketchup. Tomato. And might as well plant the remaining of our peppers. And might as well. I don't know, what's tomato in Dutch? Uh, tomat. Tomat. Yeah. T O M A A T. <laughs> T Two A's. Yep. We're still with one A. <laughs> but all right, yeah. quite similar. <laughs> okay. So about two thousand per day, but a bit cheaper for longer times. Okay. Let's not do that yet, though. <clears throat> and new on the cookstra. Oh, oh yeah, new post here. Let's see. The hollow trapper in town, my son. You can see plastic floating in the water sometimes. It's bad for marine life, so be careful. That's a lot of votes. <laughs> Thumbs up he got on that. A beluga showed up in front of Banjo Sushi. Even a beluga knows that Banjo Sushi is a, a must-visit. <laughs> How did you get the photo from this angle? He was in the boat. I think I saw a beluga. At the, uh, yeah, the, the boat is in the background there. Good attention uh, to the detail, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. They, they must have added those to for after you saved the beluga from the glacial area. Let's turn that in. And now there's only this left to investigate the, the yeah, sea people artifacts. But we haven't found any of those yet. Oop. Let's see, it's the new area for... Yep, crab traps. It's a bunch of crabs. And all the shellfish. Actually, just mm. shellfish. Lobster, crabs. Yeah. Okay. Lobster, crab. I don't think you use a crab trap for shrimps. Now, let's see. Yep. Yeah, I forgot to check his stock, but we can look at that some other time. For now, let me actually take a look at... Uh, <clears throat> Wait, at what we what? have to serve. You... They just told us that your harvest in this sea has fully grown and abandoned already. I think it might have just been delayed. Perhaps. Let's or was it just that one single young plant that you had there to begin with? Let's see. Let's prepare 30 of those. 
one of these. And... Oh, I should realize, we're gonna need to start hunting for shrimps. True. Okay. Will we any shellfish count? Uh, probably only the shrimps. No. Let's see, where were most of the shrimp? Though I think we should have a good amount. Also, I didn't check this, the fish farm yet. So let's actually check there as well, so that to make sure that the place isn't overstuffed. Hmm. Also, I think those free face icons, loading screen things are new. <laughs> okay. Holy. Let's see. Leave two. Prioritize three stars. Okay, this would send all of this. Let's see, you can't breed anymore if you send all the fish's ingredients. Uh, this should preserve enough. Otherwise, I'll have to go catch everything again. Oh, yeah. Mm. Two okay, beach. Yeah, okay. I would have preferred to keep two uh, uh, four of each to increase breeding speeds. But this works as well. Again, I don't want to complain too much about everything. Yeah, I wasn't sure that this was even an option before. And I think it was added in at some point. I don't know if it was added when we were still streaming the game or not. Hmm. But it does speed things up quite a lot. Okay. And yeah, the later areas, of course, are going to have less for us to send. And there's still those two places. I'm, I'm guessing at least one of those farms is going to be for aberrated fish. Okay. Uh, do we have any upgrades to buy here left? Oh. Uh, I told you about density before, right? Um. You can't put in any more fish in it if the density reaches 100%, so keep that in mind. Okay, nice little reminder. Okay, we still have... We can still expand those, but there's not too much need for them yet. Since, well, the density is low enough and doesn't reach 100. I just... It just dawned on me now. Hmm? We'll be fishing the... Dredge fish. Yep. And that just made me remember that's what these two games are, have most in common. Fish. Both are fishing games. <laughs> okay. Let's go grab ourselves some crabs. <clears throat> and then see if we get the new if we get the dredge DLC unlocked tomorrow. Yeah, and here Captain, here's some horsehair crab. What head for your cough? <laughs> okay, hello. <laughs> uh, bunch? Uh, oh, you did kill it! Yep. You uh. had to it looks a bit silly when it just and a whole Burns prune. Off. Yeah, just bunch off. Like it's a sharp old prune, it still just bounces off a yellowfish. Yeah, <laughs> the way they go dark makes it look like their lights getting turned off. Yeah, like... If I get something with a shell, fine, like a giant crab or lobster, then I could understand it doing that, but I guess a shark, or again, that's a jellyfish, you expect the harpoon to, you know, impale? You like that? Yeah, or at least pierce the skin? It probably does, but it's more so that you can attack straight away again instead of having to wait <clears throat> until the uh, until the harpoon gets dislodged or such. Oh, or maybe they do get pierced technically, but it dislodges. Okay, that way I could then it, then it would make sense. I do wonder if maybe bait has an effect on what will actually get caught in the trap. That sounded like tuna or such. 
But we don't have net traps, so that's going to be not much of a possibility for us to catch. Not without a lot of work, at least. Or a shark also works. Now. That might be the shark you uh, spoke about earlier. Maybe. You. For a moment, I thought the freaking spine fish was doing that. Oh, yeah, this thing is damaging a lot. Luckily, there was, I believe, a air canister up to the left. Ow. Yep. Retreat, retreat. Yep. Come on, lose interest, lose interest. That works as well. Come on. There we go. Okay, good thing that those restore like almost full health. Yeah, and don't the, of course, of course, it was one poke away. Of course, of course it was. Of course it was. Oh, I was fearing we would have a repeat of. Oh God! No, remember that damn disaster we had. Such a massive load of variable fish that we were to use on a festival. Yeah. On the first I'm... day prior, and what happens? You were this close to the surface and you died. Yeah, just <laughs> because the game didn't pause like it does you typically at when you're entering new areas. <clears throat> when you're trying to get out of the water. Yeah. So bloody annoying. I still did well, but... Uh... Uh, there again, I was not the one playing. He was the pl one playing it, and, but yet I'm still pissed off over it. Yeah, it, it was an absolute bitch of it. Just bad luck with that. Uh, let's see, any of you small fries? I said, would you really use a, such a big harpoon against fish that size? No, but we don't have much of a better option at the moment. Come on, I can't tell if these are new or not. Oh, oh combers. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I probably should switch the weapon back to the rifle. Just to be able to deal with hostile fish better. Wait, th are, those are darts, I think. Small spot of darts. We need more of you. Yeah, they, f they fit the look. Or I might just be wasting ammo, but oh well. I just realized yep, small spot of dark. Chains? Yep. <laughs> Miss. Okay. That should be the best chance I have of getting at least one for the breeding stock. And hey, there's ammo <laughs> right to fill us up. Okay. Um Right, I put that I did put that other. No, I'd already. Uh, I've already. Yeah, I already emptied it out. I think. Or... Right. Uh, not putting that in. I'm going to put that in though. I, I already put down the box and emptied it out just before. That is the second use. Should probably upgrade it to third level to speed up the collecting of the different you know, the types of crab. Yeah. Wait. I just realized. How the heck do you catch shrimp? Now we're using a bug net. But normally, good question. I probably probably a very fine net. I, I, just to, I don't remember you catching shrimps. Now, we've been using the same butterfly uh, net as the other small fish. 
It's just that they look a bit like uh, <clears throat> the seahorses and such. Oh, uh, so they are probably way too small for me to even notice. Probably, yeah. They often go. They often just also just vanish into the background a bit. Yoink. Since my screen is technically smaller than yours, likely. Yeah, then I can see me not doing that. There's something swimming around. It's... Yep, those things again. And they tend to camouflage a bit as well. I'll grab some of this. Roar! Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, this time one. Or, no, we got two. We got four of them at two star rates. Lobster. European lobster. Yep. Okay. And also, I learned something yesterday, by the way. Hmm? Apparently... The Dutch are trying to revive the Auroch. Okay. Giant, bo uh, giant bovine people. Okay. I don't, know, it, 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 I don't mean they buy in but I mean they try to revive giant bovine, not giant bovine yeah. people. That was pretty weird too. Okay, we've got small spotted darts uh, at double now, so they will start breeding. Okay. Yep, wrap up the day. Okay. Oh, crops have grown up. Hmm. Light. Okay, I might leave it empty. I might leave some spots empty. Oh, yeah, that's definitely on. I might leave some spots empty until all of them are empty again. And because they can grow up between day phases as well. Yeah, look, it's probably easy to just have them all done at the same time as possible. As easy to organize. So, so let's leave things be for the moment. We'll have more than plenty. We have more than plenty of onions now, anyways. Put some compost here to help just that grow. Oh, and whilst uh, game. Okay, I think it got confused as to what was actually con taking control there for a moment. Can we? Yes, we can look at this thing now. Okay, chicken oh, yeah. feeder automatically. Oh, yeah. to... Okay, we buy this from here. Yeah, it's only two dots now. It's only three on the thing down there. There we go. High quality feed. And high was quality eggs. Yes. Okay. So the dots on that thing you can see there does tell us. Yeah. Always better to be extra sure though, instead of just yeah. assuming things. Yeah, a little bit to confirm, for I saw you had two dots only earlier until you re refilled it. Hmm. Ah. I forgot that, that I forgot that we could dispatch people to go get condiments. Uh, the afternoon I can handle, but it's too cold in the evening. I'm freezing to death here. Hmm. Made any progress on the hot pepper tuna? Yes, I happen to know the man who made that song, so I asked for a recipe. <laughs> Good, wonderful. Then oh. please, make me that dish before I freeze to death. I'll be waiting. <laughs> make Django warm. Wait, we already hosted the pepper? Not yet. But we know the recipe, or Bancho has figured out a recipe from it. So I think he's just what? going to hang out here. <clears throat> okay, here's the we usually have we usually have these ingredients ready before they arrive. Yeah, unless they are specifically from something that we only unlock before then. Let's see. I do believe the menu here changes depending on what we set the place to. So let's see. Operation policy. Price, taste, level. Provide party menu to party guests only. Hmm. 
And I think they are pretty stocked on seahorses, blue tang and yellow tang. Can you make sure? Wait, is the music actually different now in the evening? I think so. Okay, yeah, it's a lot more fast. It's a lot faster beat. Yeah. But <laughs> with some steel drum mixed in. Okay. I, I'm gonna need to confess. This is probably the only game that actually made me more curious to try and eat in fish again. <laughs> Definitely for me as well. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, there's a cat on the floor! I thought it was a bag! And I just hit upon a bit of an idea. Uh -oh. The most likely time for us to find aberrated fish is during night diving. Uh oh. So. Do we take a gamble on that, or do I do I just look up how we actually get access to the DLC? Yeah, actually do that, please. For... I, I will be pissed off if they did that as a new game thing only. I very much doubt it. Yeah, for me, that's a trend that most people have moved away from. Let's have a look here. Yeah, unless it's, it's not something that should be completely uh, altering the game, so it shouldn't be something that only pops up on <clears throat> on the new game plus or new game. Uh, let's yeah, see. game plus is fine when you do that on a game plus. Mm -hmm. But if the game doesn't have game plus, then it's just painful and annoying. Uh, okay. According to this, at least on the Steam page, there should be a new weather condition. That is when the aberrated fish appear, so <clears throat> no chance yet. And let's see, we are good with this, so there we go. <clears throat> Maybe I should have used one of the composts or fertilizers that would speed up plant growth, but oh well. Yeah, but have we ever failed one of these quests? No. Not even sure what might happen if you do. Like, is it a game over, or does it just get restarted or something to the day, some days before? Wasabi! <laughs> Oh, gosh. That you made me remember a really evil plan. Hmm? Someone replaced toothpaste with wasabi. Yeah, that, that would just... <laughs> that's not even just a funny prank. That's just not a funny prank. That's just mean. Yeah, I think it happened in a movie or something. But it... Yeah, it... Don't do that, people. Just don't. Okay, I'm thinking that's it for today. Did the, did the music just speed up a bit? Huh. Okay, a little bit, yeah. Okay, it might be that they that things speed up a bit once the last customers have arrived or such. And yeah, there's still 36. Uh, <laughs> again, another best. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look at it. M 0 0.1 minus score? Yeah, I'm guessing that's going to be from. Yeah, here. Okay, what is Why? pissing people off here? Okay, Why I might. Need... Tell us we could get 0 0.1 minus happiness score. What? what? Uh, I right. think we, I think we might need to train people a bit there. <laughs> Refreshing Saturday it is, Dave. This is already yes, it's already the weekend. Are you working on the weekend again? <laughs> working with others are resting is the only way to get ahead, don't you agree? Or the quickest way to burn yourself out. In any case, from what I saw on the radar, at around 50 meters deep, where the you know, light starts to grow dim, there's another fishmon to add to our collection. We nearly mistook it for a rock or some kind of mineral. The silvery titan triggerfish. The point is, its scales are not just silvery looking, but made, actually made of silver. Is that even possible? Isn't it bulletproof then? I bet it is. 
Use science. Silver is a good conductor of electricity. I think one might inflict damage using a weapon that can discharge electricity. It looks quite heavy, so you'll have to watch your weight capacity too. Keep up the good work, Dave. Mm. A weapon that can discharge electricity. We should have a few of those, I think. But first, yeah. we go over here again. Yeah, let's check on the farm and all that. Bunch of eggs. And the peppers, okay, the <laughs> peppers are already done. So we can unfreeze uh, our chili friends tonight. Oh, okay. I think that, I think some of the quests like have a deadline, like the ones with the contests. Yep. Since that one is those are specific date. True. So I'm gonna guess every time we had those contest parts, or uh, like the parts where we could game over or have a huge setback. Yeah. So I don't think the game would be too cruel if it is a setback. I'm presuming it'll just prompt us to reload to a few days back or something. Yeah, that or we have a some kind of a temporary debuff. Maybe. Like I'm not much in the mood to check out for that though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That, that's something you would be would rather done in a test, uh, a separate test video. Yeah. Okay. Even well, with stream. <laughs> even with just quote unquote just one breeding pair of each, we're getting just hundreds of fish meat from all of these. Holy. Yep. Fifty four here. 31. Yeah, if you get enough, if you get enough breeding pairs, I'm pretty sure you can run the you can run the sushi shop off of just what you get from the farm here. Holy! Am I still missing a, a lot of breeding pairs? Yep. Especially for the prehistoric ones. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. That should be everything. Actually, let's go over here quickly. Pardon? Pardon? And actually, probably better to head to the branch. That's a better way to keep track. And we should be able to access staff as well there. Yeah, because we need to upgrade our team here a bit. Let's see. I'm going to presume that it might be serving that is a bit low. So they could use some more levels? Actually, let's train you as well. Let's just give everyone a level. Yeah. We do... We, uh, I hope they is here remember that they do... We'll get more pay. So they'll be pricier... Training will make them uh, take higher pay as well. So that True. is a thing to watch out for when you train. Do let's be honest. These two nights will have been way more profitable than we have ever had before. If you recall correctly, Dre is supposed to be the best character for the branch manager, but it's been a bit since I've you know, checked any of that. So we'll just stick with Davina for now. And yeah, yeah, before, it... yeah, before next time that we stream this on Thursday, I'll have checked out that and well, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see who stays and who goes. Yeah, uh, first day or tomorrow, again, depends if we do Valheim or not. Yeah. And even on that, Valheim, we might just do extra long, though we probably shouldn't take too long on because we'd run out of things to do without needing to grind. What kind of lunatic throws away trash in the ocean? You can see dolphins from Banjo Sushi. <laughs> this is what you call peace of mind. Yeah, they, they've definitely added in a bunch of these depending on stuff, you know, depending on old quests. Hmm. And apparently, yep, we got a new one, an upgraded one there. And also the European lobster. 
Lobsters that can be found at depths up to 150 meters throughout the North Atlantic Ocean and west of the Mediterranean Ocean. Its shell is mainly blue and its belly is yellow or white. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's swap out our weapon. And let's see, do uh, we have... I actually so don't have an electric weapon. Quest. That's good. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's going to be too long of a time limit on that. Uh, for now, though, we actually need to have a, a new weapon made. So, lightning rifle. We don't have a basic underwater rifle, but we can easily enough have one made. Also, something I've learned uh, is that basically everything about Duff here is a reference to an old game by the developers. One that got shut down, though. Okay. So, yeah, they, they're basically making a love letter to their own fans with this. Well, and poking fun of them as well. Okay, actually, can we upgrade it further? It looks like it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Marble Electric Gray, Fragments, some cash. Uh, might as well. That was just the silliest motherfucker in this game, huh? Yeah. I don't wonder the, why they, they, that game got shut down. Probably because it didn't have enough income. Because it was an MMO, I believe, or something like that. Oh, okay, if it was an MMO, then it makes sense. And, so, and to upgrade this thing to a Thunderbolt rifle, we actually need a shock rifle as well. Uh, what I mean by mm. it is, if it's an MMO, it makes sense it got shut down since... That's a busy field. Money. Wait, what? Yeah, it, it, MMO games are a busy field. Yeah. So a lot of competition and a lot of, a lot of competition means that eventually some small fries are going to get killed. Yeah, and uh, let's be honest, uh, there was a while where... Everyone tried to get into the MMO market, and uh, yeah, it was not good. And speaking of, uh, sometime recently it was announced that uh, I didn't even know that this was a, a thing that was being considered. But uh, the Last of Us Online has been officially cancelled again. I that was the first I actually heard about that, and it, well, same. I heard it recently as well. Wait, why is the tuna marked? Wait, am I short on tuna foods or on, on tuna meat or something? <clears throat> but yeah, to, to be honest though, the only way I can think that uh, a Last of Us Online game would go would basically be just be rust with more zombies. Maybe? Am I just out of food on those? Yellow fin? Those aren't yellow fins, I think. No wonder, does MMO count as live service game? I think so, yeah, because they typically get upgrades, you know, updates, and work still. Though it's not in how people think of live service, in how it's typically considered nowadays. Yep. Yep, welcome back, Pizza. Oh, welcome back, and we. Oh. We are the Zoom industry. Miss. Uh, let's try at least catch some of these. I think I, I think I, yeah, we should have enough food for the, the recipe, more than plenty. Uh, but let's see if we can kill at least one of these. Missed up. Okay, I'm going to save the rest of my shots for that fishmon if we find it. Okay, class is finally over. Okay, <laughs> good to hear. Hope it wasn't too bad. 
be. I was getting hit and run by those stupid oversized <laughs> fin picnics. Okay. But uh, yeah, we still have a good 10 ish minutes before we close off. And then, of course, we also have this evening where we'll be starting on Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. No, I'm trying to think. Uh, I, will, I will ask uh, Glacier Boy uh, off the stream. So, tomorrow, double Valheim ish. But if not Valheim, will we extra Dave Dyer and extra Sonic? Mm, could try. Yeah, can work. Can work. Now, so every time those uh, cuttlefish spit their ink, it sounds like a balloon popping or something. No. Or something splatting, at least. Or the, it, it, well, a water balloon would be more accuracy. Oh, hello like a there. Water balloon, maybe? But not a. Not a balloon popping, but more like a water balloon uh, splatting. Yeah. Okay. Or you somehow. Uh, Pop the ketchup bag. Do they still use those ketchup bag things? You know, small packs are still often used in restaurants and such. And I can hear the radar beeping. So that fishmon should be nearby. As the marlin just... Just drills itself into the wall. Okay. You are a good catch, so you're coming with. Uh, let's see. No, not at all. Though I am actually running a story, so still will not be talking much, but hey, I do also have someone you can raid. Okay, feel free to suggest them. Okay, it's not going to be here, but I'll still grab these. Hmm. I don't know if the game had this before, but I can actually feel the, the controller vibrate, or rather pulse. Whenever the <clears throat> whenever the game is you know, raid when the, when the game is giving a pulse here, also let me put oh. one of these up. I'm glad that most games that play only have those functions up once as a demonstration, then never again. Since yeah, I don't like vibrating controllers. Let's see. Oh, Starnak. Okay, we've raided them before. It's it's not like it's heavy vibrating, more like just a. The, you, you put a, little, a slow pulse, and it's not too strong either with it. I just don't want it to do anything for... It most like... As, the, the, think of it this point of perspective. I'm not used to this high rate of pulse. <laughs> so if I play a game and the something starts shaking, it will probably jump scare me. <laughs> probably, yeah. Uh... And probably make me drop the controller. Okay, where is this fish? Also, just before, uh, let me restock. Lightning rifle round. No, lightning rifle ammo. Uh, there Damn it is. The <laughs> fishmon found. <laughs> that's that's the one. Please catch it without killing it. Uh, we need to use electric rounds to even hurt it. Unless so... they have electric nets. No, uh, we it... don't have them. It would be mother to be able to pierce it with this weapon. Only. Wait, what? Okay, apparently that does not work after all. Wait, it does something. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we do need an electric net for these. I think there's one that we can use to catch tuna and such. Okay. It's the first time. Oh. Oh, actually, uh -oh. maybe... No? I think I know what's going on. I... Maybe we need to shock it indirectly. They, they did say it was a heavily armored, so I guess... I guess the Hopun is unable to do anything because it doesn't... It's not able to pierce. Yeah, but maybe it can get shocked indirectly from other things, though. Yeah. So, I if I manage to get an angle... I, I, I think that hurt it? I can't really tell. I think it's something. Hey, come and chase me, you. It. Yep, 
miss. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a nuisance. They'll have to chase fish up there. But it could have been much worse. The question is if it is actually dealing damage to it. No, you're not escaping downwards. Okay, apparently you are. Hmm. Okay, let's give it a few more tries then. Yeah, also, uh, something else that sends me some of I don't think we are worried about a shaken controller, especially as it's a lot of us in control we would do, do here, apparently. Is misclicking. Hmm. Okay, I think I might be using the wrong weapon then. Oh well. <laughs> First time that we have to retreat from catching a fishmon, but we still have tomorrow. Since I do believe we can only find them on the weekends, or the in-game weekends. Hmm. Okay, let's grab our let's grab our crab box then. And head on out. Okay. A few more European lobsters. Yeah, let's, lobsters. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh my, you reminded me of something I used to do with my PS4 controller. Uh, whenever I play games and when my controller would shake uh, really bad uh, or really hard, a good example would be in a God of War game where you have to open the doors with a chisel and the controller would go crazy and shaking. Uh, I used to use the, have that vibrating controller to massage myself, but <laughs> it was super uh, irate, especially at my neck or my hands or arm. <laughs> that's definitely another use for them. Wait. Uh, that's actually a game that's designed to use controllers like that. Uh, what's it and called? Miss Masowski? May and I think I just realized that maybe we do have the tool that we need, because we have an electric, <laughs> we have an electric harpoon tip. Wait, what were you shooting it with? The electric rifle. But then again, I guess that needs to puncture it first. Okay, no, that, that also doesn't work. So we really need a net or some sort of lightning gun then. Yeah, definitely not their purpose, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll need to look through the stuff that we have access to then. On how to catch that thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Marlin Row. Okay. Okay. Now. Cooper, do you have anything? Yep. There. No, you have nothing that we can use for this at the moment. Is there any other weapon here? Let's see, sticky bomb, ice gun, grenade launcher. Hmm. Let's see. Penta axle, lightning. Wait. Does it inflict electric damage? Paralyzes targets. Hmm. Gravity yeah, launcher, that... flash grenades. It must be the net gun. Let's see, net gun, steel net gun. Wait, what? Mm, no, there's no electric option. There's no... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I might need to look this up then. But, yeah, we can. We still have tomorrow that we can f uh, fish for it. But I think for now, we actually do our very first time skip. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Okay, Dave just vibing, but I, I think he deserves it. He's been diving like n ev almost every day for what, like a month or so? Okay, let's check the farm again. Let me do one more uh, restaurant thing, then in stream? Uh, yeah. Then for tomorrow. It, it will go a <laughs> slight overtime, but. Stay the diver. Yeah. 
implicitly right, less time there. It, it, it's going to be much less of an overtime than the usual it could be. Yeah, mm. and it's it's worth it. Okay. And yeah, this is still the longest running game that we've done on stream, so it definitely deserves some <laughs> privilege. Yeah, like all the games that are this long, we will probably end up having maybe do something like a season thing. I mean, we play a certain amount, then we take a pause, then we return to it. After one or two other games. Yeah. But they the time where just... It's just good. Yeah, it's just right balance. Okay, so let's set the menu. To qualify it to be so long. Like, make a long game is not easy. And once again, we get to enjoy Boncho being, well, Boncho. I, I really hope the people who made these animations <clears throat> got a raise. I would not be surprised if they make an, uh, a series of this. It would be nice to see an animation. <clears throat> uh, it would be a lot of work to do a pixel animation a series of this. So I wouldn't really want that unless they actually so, can do that and they're willing to put uh, it in. I think they probably will skip the pixel animation, but they will still do a good animation inspired by all these scenes. And I think that'll do, 40 dishes, because we've still not actually hit 40 plus, I believe. But well, just I... to be sure... Yeah, uh, don't forget that special dish for someone. Yeah. Uh... It's uh, the one with the, blue, uh, with the face icon up there. There. And you will pass Yeah, I'll pepper two now. Oh. There we go. Okay. That's it? And it that's all we're gonna serve. And we, that's all we need to serve because we'll we'll only see at a maximum like 40 <laughs> customers. And then this is this is 45 servings. Oh also I should probably research uh, some of these. Also, how much did each one cost there? 800? Eight. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's not spicy itself, the price tag certainly is. There. Okay. And I think that's about that, so let's open her up. And maybe with some luck, we'll, only, we'll get the red mist. Mm. Okay, we need to personally deliver this. Again, a raise for these people. <laughs> Whoa, the heat is. I can feel the warmth. <laughs> I'm sweating. That's quite a reaction. I'm glad you're not cold anymore. <laughs> Phew, you saved me. You don't even know my name yet. I'm Django, a wandering merchant. I collect and sell rare ingredients from all over the world. Ingredients? That certainly piqued his interest. Chef, thanks for the fine meal. If you don't mind, I'll drop by once in a while to sell my products at a good price. Most of them you'll be able to acquire on your own. But I bet you don't have a truffle. A truffle? A rare mushroom that's hard to come by. This is a gift in exchange for your dish, and here's a recipe that requires a truffle. 
It should be worth looking into. Thank you. Let's see. I'll be passing by this place on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Since it's cold in the evening, I'll drop by in the afternoons. I'll try to get good ingredients for you. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, see you on Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday afternoons. <laughs> okay. And that's the mission complete. And new content. No one, join will visit every da da da. Has special items in stock. Visit the sushi restaurant at the right time to see his wares. Okay. So, a reason to come in early. Coming, coming. Ooh, really? You got annoyed at that? Or was that someone who ran in and found a sp an, an unclean spot? Okay. Come on. Oh. <laughs> someone else was working on it. Okay, it's a good thing that we've got some good staff here, huh? Oh, yeah! Okay. Now, yeah, we only had one unhappy customer. Mostly because they, I think they just couldn't find a clean spot. And were too impatient to wait. And it looks like the branch is also doing well. A bit low on profit from the looks of it, though, for some reason. Did they run up out of ingredients or something? That one angry customer there as well. <laughs> okay. Well, you can make... Don't go make everyone happy. And, oh, slight less than before, but one more rating up than yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, what? 0 0.1 rating up. Yeah. <laughs> Negligible. It'll probably still annoy Boncho to no end, but it could have been much worse. Mm. Oh, the fog sure is thick today. Never thought Blue Hole would see any fog. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Okay, that means that tonight, red fog likely, and thus dredge. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, which we see tomorrow or on Thursday? Yeah, we'll see. It, <laughs> it even has the marker for saves that have the dredge stuff in it. Okay, let's say... Oh yeah, it's been more than a month that <laughs> Dave has been diving nearly non-stop. So he definitely deserved one afternoon off. <laughs> okay, then... It was fun returning to this game. <laughs> oh yeah, it sure is. Uh, I'll definitely keep an eye out on the developers for whatever extra content they make and what their next game is going to be. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. But for now, let's head on over here and go look for someone to raid. So, let me bring this forwards and let's have ourselves a look. Oh, right, uh, Pizza, the pizza, the pizza suggested Starnak. Let's see if they're still on. Yep, they are still. Uh, they are just chatting at the moment. Let me make sure that the place is muted. Then we can to take a peek. Doctor Misunderstood is streaming Persona 4 Golden. Freaking ad. Chubbs the Moon Seal with World of Warcraft. Dugget Lug Douglas McDog is playing Silent Hill. The Lagstorm is playing Deep Fear. WBPL is streaming my sand, my time at Sandrock. I almost said my sand at Time Rock. Kirinos Yoko is playing Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. <clears throat> and oh, oh, hello. We know this game. It's Evo Land. Wait, who's playing Evo Land? Starnak. Oh, poor bugger. This is Evo Land 1, I think. Oh, okay. poor bugger. <laughs> Okay. Raid Starnak then, or any of the others? I must have raid them and uh, tell them sorry. <laughs> okay. Copy the name, head to our place, last raid and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza, for, <coughs> for sticking around and chatting a bit. And let's see. Uh, possible Lurker, thank you as well. 
And thank you as always, Rick here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for your thing. Yeah. And uh, let's see, yeah. Later tonight, in about three hours, a bit under that, we will have our usual Tuesday stream, where we'll be starting with Sonic Adventure 2. And yeah, we'll see how many more streams we do in the rest of the week. We'll definitely be doing or at, attempting at least two on Thursday, as well as the typical weekend stuff. We'll see about tomorrow. <clears throat> and what else? Oh, look. I'm unsure we'll be streaming anything on. Might be Friday? Yeah, because of the uh, swimming and, and stuff. Um, yeah. So Friday is usually probably will be a good uh, break day. Yeah, that is when we are taking our <laughs> afternoon break like Dave did. <laughs> yeah. So, we, so yeah. Uh, I gotta say, yeah, I'm up for double stream this week and next week, but Friday will be permanent amount break days yeah unless things have changed big time on my end uh but yeah for now though let's get that raid started and yeah thank you all again for watching an hour later and until next time have a nice day and until then be safe everyone and watch out for undead seagulls and Red silver mist. triggerfish <laughs> oh and watch out for the mist too yes <laughs>